going on youtube bill pure cajun outdoors uh i don't know how many of y'all been paying attention to the news lately but we've been cold down here in south louisiana below freezing for probably two three days in a row got down into the low teen record low temps uh so i hadn't been doing much fishing in that but it kind of warmed up today it's 33 34 degrees wind chill probably about 18 19 degrees north wind so i figured come out here and try to catch some catfish now problem with that is i'm not getting in the boat it's frozen to the trailer ice in the boat so i wasn't going to catch bait like that so i'm throwing from the bank cold weather so already hard to catch bait but we did look up there's a couple shad a couple nice size shad so that should get us in the water we'll see I don't know if these fish are gonna be biting right now to be honest with you we got a ton of rain last night so in my area particularly maybe some other people have better luck but anytime there's a lot of rain a lot of fresh water get dumped into our bayous fishing don't do too good but i want to fish so stay tuned hopefully we can bring y'all a big monster blue cat any kind of catfish i just want to catch something y'all stay tuned Right, we got some big juicy shad here personally this is my favorite bait this time of the year outside of mullet i normally do great with mullet at this time of the year but uh shad also i mean it's it's up there lots of people use skipjack to be honest while i'm at in these waters skipjack has not done me well whether it's fresh whether it's frozen i just have not done that well on skipjack and they're in these bodies of water so it's not like it's not a food source there's for whatever reason just haven't done that great on them maybe the timing ain't right whatever but we're gonna cut this old shad up <clears throat> we're gonna cut this shad up get them on the pole i'm gonna start out with some smaller chunks it's cold and catfish typically don't go after too much a bigger bait in this type of weather i'm not gonna go real small i'm still using 10 out hooks whisker seeker triple threats uh so get this bait cutting let's get it in the water all right, we got everything baited up. Nice head piece on this one. I'll go with a body section on this. Not too big. You can see still got a good half a shad left, a little over a half a shad. So let's get these things into the water. All right, so we got the poles cast out. How we fishing here. In my experience fishing this time of the year when it's cold, big catfish typically do tend to go deep however on a day like today it's not extremely warm it's still 34 35 degrees but it, it is a lot warmer and the sun has poked its head out a lot more today and yesterday than it has the last few days so those big fish will typically go because shallow water will warm up a good bit faster uh bait will tend to congregate there in the shallows where it's a little warmer bait does what bring fish so I don't want to cast into the deep spots of this channel. I want to kind of fish the ledge to the shallow side of it, you know. I'm hoping that'll pay off. We'll see. Stay tuned and we're going to see what we can bring in. If anything. All right, but we got action already. It, it might have been five minutes since the last time we spoke on the shad head. Over here on the left on the big cat fever. Nothing major right now, but could be a dank. I don't know, it's pulling pretty good. If it pulls any better, we might have to pick up on this thing and see what he's doing. Let's get ready, people. We might have some action. Let's see, give me another good tub. Got action on this one on the right hand side now too. Now 
That or this one on the left swim across my one on the right. Hard to tell at this point in time. I can't really see my string to sit there and see if it's uh, swimming or not. My guess is, is I'm going to just see whichever one of these the rods bowl first, if any of them. I guess that'll be the one that I try to sit down on. Let's pick up this big cat field. We got a fish on, people. It's a heavy fish, he's not fighting much, but it's also got a good bit of current, so. Oh, he's pulling. Oh, he just let go. You gotta be kidding me. We just popped. You gotta be kidding me. What is going on here today? Some more bites on this big cat feet about five minutes after the last one. Let's see if we can get a hook set on this one. Still that head piece. Let's see. Come on, take it, take it. fish on. I feel him. It don't feel too big. But let's try to get this sucker in. Ah, come on. Might be a little nicer fish than I'm giving him credit for. Bigger fish really don't fight that much, and he ain't a big fish. Good eating size, though. They're about 10 pounds. Nice little 10 pound fish, maybe 12. Blue cat, pretty. Fat full from the winter time eating. And still got my bait back. Doesn't get much better than that. Another fish. Let's see. Fish on. about the same size as the one we just landed. I hadn't even got the other one in the water yet. I just unhooked this. Might be two, three minutes after. Might be a little smaller. Oh yeah, about the same size. Now 
That's pretty blue cat. Not too shabby, still got my bait back once again. My type of fish. So, got two fish so far. That's not bad, should have been four. But let me explain to something what happened. Uh, we had a hard, hard freeze Monday morning. Had a lot of uh, freezing rain also. My rods were still in the back of the truck. I had fished, I was getting ready to fish before that. My line had froze over, I got pictures of it. <clears throat> Well, when I got out here to fish, I inspected my line. I seen a couple frays on it. Didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal, to be honest with you. And apparently it was, because I had two fish, two pop lines as soon as I go to set them. Lost both of them on the, the different ones. Changed everything out, cut some stuff back, re-rigged, threw out. Ten minutes later, two fish. Uh, they apparently like eating this shad right now. Same size catfish also, some 10, 12 pounds. They, it might be a little bit bigger than that. Uh, nothing less than 10 for sure. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully one of the feeding friends, we'll see if we can't get us something a little bit bigger though. But for right now, we got fish. So today I would say is a success. Can only get better from here. Fish on. that big about like the other one maybe a little smaller All right, folks, we've been out here a good while today. Still had my two pieces of shad, ended up with three fish, a couple got off. Uh, three nice fish, though. Nonetheless, it is fish, but I'm about to pack this show up. Uh, hopefully, we got some, some good footage. The third fish, I don't even know if it's going to be on camera or not, because uh, I went to record this outro battery was dead uh so i don't know at what point in time during the third fish that it died if it if it died at all at that point in time and it didn't die a little later so uh tomorrow we're gonna be back into the the low 20s i might come try again might not it's really gonna depend on the bait it's real hard to find right now and uh i hope y'all enjoyed it everyone out there dealing with this cold weather hope y'all stay safe and uh don't forget to subscribe pure cajun outdoors give us a thumbs up if you like the content instagram facebook same thing pure cajun outdoors give us a follow uh i try to interact with comments questions suggestions uh some of y'all already know y'all comment and ask a question about a certain recipe or a certain hook I, I try to answer y'all as quick as I can. Sometimes I don't get the notifications and I don't see them until I go back and read through them. So uh, once again, stay safe. Pure Cajun Outdoors. We'll catch y'all next time.